Hi, uh, welcome to the fifth tutorial on LV table development in WebDM Profile app. Um, in this tutorial, we will look at how to make this LV table as a hierarchy table, and how do we do, you know, calculations inside LV table, and also we will see how do we add, you know, uh, text, uh, text on the top of LV table or at the footer of the LV table. Okay. Um, so let's look at the code. As I did in the previous tutorial, I've already written the code, right? I've just commented that code. Um, what I will do, I will uncomment the code as I explain each feature, and uh, you know, go through the code. Okay. So we will look at how do we make the LB table as a hierarchy table now. Okay, so this piece of code here um, calls a method called set display type, and which is part of the configuration model here, right? Um, so what we need to pass to that method is display type hierarchy. This is a constant defined, uh, basically the attribute uh, defined in this interface uh, with a constant value, um, and also what we need to do is we have to define which field which column in that ALB table should act as a hierarchy column so here what I'm doing is you know when I'm looping at all the columns here um, you know when we come to the year column I'm calling another method which is part of the uh, you know the, the field basically which is part of the sorry uh, the column class, and it says set hierarchy column, and we need to pass uh, a boolean value x here. Okay, uh, so which means uh, you know the system will understand that uh, when I when I want to display the LV table as a hierarchy, I need to consider this particular column as a hierarchy column. That based on the based on the values of that column, uh, the LV table is displayed in the hierarchy. Based on that values of that column the hierarchy table is displayed let's see let's activate this and see the output so if you see here before I refresh um, so we have made this column as a hierarchy column so the 2011 has two entries here and 2012 has um, three entries Okay, so let's see what happens. Okay, now I have this you know arrow mark on the left of this value, so this means you can expand this particular uh, value. So if I click on this expand node, so I have two values, 2012, and three values. Okay, so this is how we uh, you know make the hierarchy uh, hierarchy table. Okay. Then the next thing uh, is uh, how do we calculate the totals? You know, I have added another column here called amount, uh, which has some uh, numerical values here for each of the record. So if you want to display um, a total of all these things, all these values, right? So we can do that in ALV. I'll explain this code here. Um, again, LV value refers to the configuration model of the LV. So it has a field called get field. Basically, what we're doing is we're getting a reference of the column uh, for which we want to calculate the total. Right? So the column name, the technical name of the column is amount. Okay. So I'm getting the reference for that field and LR underscore field amount. So that field has a method called create aggregation rule. So we need to pass here. This is again a, a constant, uh, which is aggregate type total. So there are different types of you know rules we can define. Uh, we can calculate the total of that particular you know uh, column, uh, or we can calculate the average of that uh, column, or you can calculate the maximum or the minimum of that column. There are different uh, aggregation rules that we can formulate. So here, what I'm doing is I'm just taking the total rule. 
uh, and then uh, so this is the aggregation rule okay and here what I'm doing is is you can uh, you know if you want to display the the total at the top of the table or at the bottom of the table you can decide that using this methods right set aggregate before items if you set is true it will come at the top okay um, yeah so let's activate this So this is the total of this, right? Um, this is um, 70, 70 and uh, 90, and then 152. Yep. It appears at the top. Right? We can make it appear at the bottom as well. Okay. So this is for displaying the totals. If you have any columns which has, um, you know, which which has values for the price or the totals or the quantities like you can uh, display the sum of the values in that column or you can display the average or the maximum or the minimum of that uh, values uh, you can actually as well display the uh, you know amounts at individual you know for example if you want to display amount the total amount for 2011 and for 2012 in a separate rows we can do that uh, but um, you know, I'm not going to go through that in this tutorial. Uh, you can you know go to the SAP help and understand it. I just want to give uh, an idea of how to get the totals, right? Uh, so the next thing I want to cover is the uh, top of list and the footer and the header area of the ALV table. How do we display the text at the top of the ALV table and the bottom of the ALV table? Uh, we don't use this feature uh, you know in uh, usual developments but I uh, just want to cover it for the sake of completeness mm, so before we you know display the values at the top or the bottom of the ALV uh, we have to create two context nodes right uh, you can create uh, so I've created here with the name header Right. and uh, you can give any name here it doesn't matter uh, but the attribute under that node should uh, always be you know content should always uh, uh, should always create the attribute with the name content and should always refer to this particular type CL SALV form element similarly I've created one node for the footer and uh, that also has attribute with name content which refers to CL SALV form element once you define uh, once you define the uh, nodes in the context of the view you need to map this to the interface controller context of the standard component a standard ALV component so you need to map the header to top of list footer to end of list okay so once we did all the mapping then we'll come to the code Okay, I'll just okay. So let's see what I've done. Um, <clears throat> so we can actually display multiple, you know, text elements or the labels at the top, right? Uh, so when we have multiple uh, UI elements, we need to have a layout, right? So let's say I I want to display four text uh, for uh, you know uh, text views at the top of the LV table with some descriptions and I want to arrange them in a, in a particular way so there are two ways of uh, doing that one is a grid layout you can arrange them as a columns and rows and the other one is a flow layout the side by side right? so here what I'm doing I'm adding you know four kinds of UI elements at the top so for that I'm using a grid so we have a class for the grid, uh, CLSALV form layout grid. So I'm creating an instance of that class first, and that class has a method called create text. 
so which will add a text UI element to the grid so when we have a grid we have uh, rows and columns right so I need to specify which row and which column that particular text needs to be placed um, so this is the text that that will appear on the screen and I want to place that in the row first row and the second column okay and then this is the text and I want to create a label for that particular text so there is a method called create label and this is the label description and I want to place this particular label in the row 1 and the column so this is the first UI element in the, in the grid and similarly I need to create another text which will be like the second row in the second column and the label in the second row and the first column okay so once I have the grid right so I've created the grid and I've added uh, the UI elements now I want to place the grid at the top of the ALB table so what we need to do for that is we just need to set the attribute we have created a context node here for the you know for the top of list right so this content attribute we need to set with the value of lr underscore grid so basically the grid will be placed at the top of the ALV table simple so let's see let's activate this and see yep so, so this is the label this is the text this is the label this is the text now similarly if you want to add something at the footer of the ALV table right so here I've used the grid layout and the footer I've used the flow layout okay so for the flow layout as well there is a class called CLSALV form layout flow right so the difference is it is a grid this is a flow so I've created an instance of that particular class and that instance the class has a method called create text so I'll just pass that you know text that needs to be displayed and then I'm binding the context uh, so the, we get the you know reference of the footer no footer context node here and then binding the the flow layout instance to the content attribute so it's exactly similar to what I've done here right. that's it it's, it's very simple Let's activate this. So this is the footer text I've added. Sorry, my text. So that's it for this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.